available on the website. <laughs> Liverpool and Napoli qualify for Group E. Liverpool with that 2-0 win over Salzburg. Meanwhile, for Napoli, 4-0 victory over Genk, ending that nine-match uh, winless streak. Not enough to save Carlo Ancelotti. We know he's achieved a lot during his time in Naples. What went wrong, Gab? Well, um, this goes back uh, uh, probably to, uh, to, to, to late September, early October. Um, the impression is that Behind the scenes, there, there's a group of players, uh, Insigne, Callejon, Koulibaly, uh, Dries Mertens, who have contractual issues uh, at the club. Allen, uh, another one. And um, after, after a poor result, you'll recall the whole thing where the club wanted to send them to training camp. The, the players rebelled. Ancelotti actually went to the training camp by himself or, or remained in the training camp uh, by himself while everybody went home. Uh, the club... He, he was kind of looked like he was walking a line between the fine line between the two, um, but things went downhill from there, and and the players didn't respond. Nine games without a win in the minds of of, of the president. Uh, this is partly Ancelotti's uh, uh, fault for not being tougher on uh, on his rebellious players, who, like I said, many of these guys could leave in January. I think that's the stock explanation. If you want to dig a little bit deeper and you want to be a little bit more cynical. De Laurenti spent a lot of money in the summer on people like Manolas and Chucky Lozano. Um, the results weren't coming in, and he looked at this and said, uh-oh, uh, I might need to go and extend a whole bunch of contracts, and it's going to cost me a lot of money. And with Ancelotti here, maybe I made some promises to him. He wants a certain level of player. Why don't I just replace Ancelotti with somebody cheaper and pin this on him because of the player rebellion? Um, if that makes any sense. But it probably doesn't make any sense because nothing about this makes sense. Did you say Ancelotti achieved, achieved a lot? Yeah. What? Well, he finished second last season. That's pretty impressive, no? <laughs> Move on. <laughs> That's achieving a lot. Overall? All right, do we laud... What were, what were Napoli's expectations? Do we la start? Well, they finished second before. Do we laud under Sarri? Do we laud managers in other leagues that finished second? Mauricio Pochettino. Apparently, is one of the greatest what? coaches actually, ever. What's he achieved? Actually, what do you do with Spurs? It's wait, 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 Craig, what did they do? He took him to the Champions League final. So, didn't win it. He took him to the Champions League final. Napoli finished second in Serie A. No, what's finishing second? Well, well exactly, what's finishing second? It's exactly the same right. thing. Carlo Ancelotti has much more experience than Maurizio Pochettino. What did he achieve at Napoli, right? Tell me. I think he achieved over what we was hey, expected. You want me? <laughs> you think what well, he's working, how much money is he working with compared well, to Pochettino? Gab just told you they went out and spent money in the summer. They lost Jorginho, they still get Koulibaly. They've got lots of good players. So I, I don't buy yeah, this, he achieved a lot. He didn't. It's actually turned into Spurs, isn't it? What? Because you've got a host of, a host of senior players who are out of contract, a team that, that should be doing better and doesn't. It's, it's, it's exactly Spurs, except it's in Italy. Arsenal next, Gab. Will it be for Ancelotti? I don't know. I mean, as I understand it, there's been no official contact uh, whatsoever, which, which makes sense because he was under contract until, uh, oh, about 15 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> uh, there's no question. I think Ancelotti's been very clear about this. He'd love to, uh, uh, to come back to the Premier League. Uh, equally, I think Arsenal, from, from what we understand, uh, they'd hope that Freddie Jungberg could see them through to the end of the season, that they wouldn't be rushed uh, into a decision. Um, I think Arsenal have to answer some pretty big questions first about what kind of club uh, they want to be and sort of what the longer-term plan is, uh, and maybe decide you know, what players in their squad are worth keeping around, which ones are worth letting go. Um, I think Arsenal would prefer not to be rushed uh, into making any kind of decision. And Gattuso is going to take over at Napoli? Uh, that's been reported. And when I speak of a, of, of a cheaper guy and <laughs> downgrading, uh, that's the idea. It's not a knock on Gattuso. Obviously, last year uh, at Milan, they came very close to qualifying for the Champions League um, after all the difficulties uh, that they'd had. Uh, but, yeah, it does seem as if Gattuso will be announced on, uh, on Wednesday as, uh, as the new manager. Meanwhile, Liverpool against Salzburg. This was a fun match. Lots of chances for both teams. In the end, Liverpool getting done. Uh, of course, they had to avoid losing to guarantee a place in the knockout stages. They did it, Stevie. All good? Uh, yeah, I mean, up until the first goal, there was, there was a few moments where I was a little concerned. But at the end of the day, 
If we're talking about chances, I mean, Mo Salah could have had five today. Yeah, and he so, scored the hardest one, didn't he? That was well, the, and, the, and exactly, the one that you think there's no way he's going to score, he actually he does it. But by the end of the game, yeah, it was comfortable. But yeah. for the first hour, yeah, Salzburg gave him a, a bit of a fright on a few occasions. Isn't that something that we've been saying about Liverpool a lot this year, that you know, other teams have, have had nibbles here and nibbles there and chances and opportunities, and if they had taken advantage of those opportunities, Liverpool may have been in trouble and they continue to get results. I think when this competition gets tighter, Liverpool has to improve their level. And I know they're killing it in the Premier League, and I know they finished first in the group, but it's not quite the standard just yet of what we saw from them late last year in the Champions League. Well, they can concentrate in the Champions League because the, the Premier yeah. League's over. <laughs> ah, caught to one or two. I can't believe you've just totally discarded Leicester. <laughs> hey, he watched Leicester play the other Salzburg day. Salzburg were a great team to watch, but they lost. No. Yeah. I'll, I mean, they, I'm really impressed with them, but ultimately they had to take their chances. Um, Liverpool got the job done. Few little, few little uh, problems there that yeah. maybe one or two will look at. I don't know, but... Uh, in the buy, it's done and dusted, forget about it. Oh, that's it, forget about that. <laughs> right, fine, done. Uh, tomorrow's the last round, of course, in the group stages.